and uh, and that's the way it goes. Like Monday through Thursday, I was in DC. Um, prior, prior, prior to that, it was Tuesday through Thursday. So you have a lot of those weeks. So I try to get home as often as I can. People will ask some questions about the job, but I'm here talking to Troy's high school football team. So you guys have a great legacy, uh, tradition of winning, tradition of being excellent at what you do, and I know your coach is all about that. So um, things that I got to experience that I that I could share that um, made a difference in my life. So when I when I graduated high school, I had wrestled in high school. I didn't play football. My mom didn't win a lot of debates with my dad, but that was one she won. Right, so uh, I joined the Army, and I, I, the biggest thing I got to do, probably militarily, was serve in the uh, 75th Ranger Regiment. So the Army Rangers, some of our nation's most elite soldiers. Uh, of course, as part of that, I had been to Ranger School, and the Ranger School is a very intense school. Uh, and a lot of people say, you know, what's the number one lesson you learned having gone through all that? And I always tell people, the number one lesson is everything you really need in life fits in a rucksack, except for people. People are like, oh, I need this, I need that, I need that. Well, you need some gear. You gotta have the right kit for the mission you're in. Uh, but you can't get there, you can't get there without people. And so the whole thing about it, it's teamwork, being there, you got a ranger creed, and one of the, the base base pieces of the creed is I will never leave a fallen comrade to fall into the hands of the enemy. And under no circumstance will I ever embarrass my country. So the, you know, all kinds of things go into that creed move further, faster, fight harder than any other soldier, and they still live it. They, they have that motivation to drive for it every day. And at West Point, uh, athletics is a big part of it. Uh, you have to do some sort of sport or athletic, either varsity, intramural, club sport, like that all the way through. And uh, one of the military's most successful generals, General Douglas MacArthur, he had a saying about athletics. He said, on the field of friendly strife, are sown the seeds that on other days, on other fields, will bear the fruits of victory. Idea, how, how is it so important at West Point that we're gonna do all this athleticism? Well, because the same things that go into the fundamentals of building a winning team, uh, making yourself ready to, to, to be a champion, um, are the things that make you ready to fight and win on the battlefield. Last thing I'll say, and you guys have probably heard this, Bear Bryant, a uh, very successful Alabama coach, used to say, you know, everyone wants to be a champion, not everyone's willing to do the work that it takes to be a champion. So you think about that, all those things, not just, not just in the weight room, not just in the practice field, not just watching film and the preparation, but in the classroom when you're doing the other things, because your students first, right? You do, you know, in your family, you know, have you done your fair share of the task? And I'm sure you're getting all these great principles here as part of this great program, as part of the school, uh, and hopefully you're getting all that from your families. But uh, look, as I, as I get the chance to drive all through six counties and drive past all kinds of programs uh, and communities, I mean, it weighs on you. You get the chance to represent all these people. So there's no way to please everyone and say, hey, everyone's gonna agree. As you guys watch the news, you know, even as you walk through the halls or on the team, you talk politics, people disagree from time to time. My best friend growing up and I, we disagree. He's he voted for Bernie Sanders in 2016. I obviously didn't. Uh, but the reality is you can be civil about it. You can work together and spend more time focusing on the things that unite us. As a country, we always used to have this motto, e pluribus unum, out of many, one. And that's the spirit of teamwork that sometimes gets lost in our country. The reality is, in spite of all the narratives, all the challenges that our country truly has, all the other places in the world, where does everyone want to be? They want to be part of the United States of America. So we build America for America, uh, but the reality is this great place has turned into the world's land of opportunity. So don't feel down on your country. This is the world's greatest. Uh, and that doesn't mean, hey, there aren't some other great places too. But there are a lot of great things. That doesn't mean that we can't be better. Even the founders, they were bickering as they were putting the Constitution together. And that's a phrase in there in the beginning, that we, uh, to form a more perfect union. So they all had little things that they wanted and sometimes really big things that they wanted that they couldn't get to an agreement on. Uh, so they did the best they could with what they had, where they at at the time. And, uh, and that's a challenge for everybody today, uh, whatever it is, whether that's uh, academics, athletics, personal development, spiritual development, any of those. So it's an honor to join you guys. Thanks for having me today. Thanks, Coach. God bless you all. Have a great season. Thank you. Thank you.
Trojan helmet with a Trojan star on it. So hopefully this can find a place either here it'll or look great, It'll look great in our office and probably in D.C. There we go. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.